Hola, soy Amilet Mercado, estoy muy contenta de estar aquí, agradezco a todas las personas de Nairobi que me han demostrado su apoyo eh, por redes sociales, eh, es por PESA que ha estado pendiente de, desde mi llegada aquí a Nairobi, estoy muy contenta, realicé una gran preparación y pues vengo convencida que no vine de Oquis a África, recorrí la mitad del mundo para llevarme al campeonato a México. Simplemente agradecer, eh, espero que sea una pelea justa y pues que mi rival, tanto como yo, demos la mejor pelea posible y los ganadores sean los espectadores. Pues agradecerle mucho a que le hayan dado la oportunidad a mi hija de disputar este cinturón con Pato Mazarica. Muchas gracias, es un bonito país, muy bonita gente, nos han recibido muy bien. Gracias. Very thankful for the opportunity that has been presented to her daughter. She's had she's his daughter uh, to compete against Zarika. It's such a great opportunity. She's, he's also very grateful to the Kenyan people for the kindness they've shown to them during this period. Hello. And uh, now let's hear from the champion herself, the first of Mali. Like just no, just the guy the bus. Yes. 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 Shukuru sana kwa hapa kwa kuja kunisupport na kitu nyambapo ningependa kusema mimi nimetrain vizuri sana na kila kitu iko sawa ambapo mchezo wote tunaenda kuonesha kesho juu kwa saizi i think hatuna mengi ya kusema ila ni kupima weight na kuenda kupumzika ndio kesho tuoneshe action uh, because we have also media that is relaying this in Mexico, I'll just allow her to translate as well on microphone. So, Zarika dice que está muy agradecida por esta oportunidad. Le agradece mucho a su entrenador, a todos los aficionados y al equipo de Sport Pesa por esta gran oportunidad de pelear por, 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 para esta oportunidad de defender su título. Gracias. <laughs> So I'll just pass this microphone around for a quick Q&A session for any questions that you have. If we can keep it about three or four, the better. Any questions? Any questions? Have none. Oh, okay. Can you introduce yourself and the media house? Good morning, Zareka. Good morning. Uh, tomorrow you're fighting uh, at home. The fans are expecting so much. I'm Chris Mekwambo from Lolo TV. Um, my question is this. How is this going to change now that you're fighting at home and then there's that pressure that if you don't, if you have to win this match? Uh, if I have to win this fight, it's going to be good for me because uh, I know I'm good and uh, I'm going to do better. <laughs> Not like uh, maybe 
another fight, but now I'm good. I'm going to do better, and this is going to be a big opportunity for me. Uh, and to Makado, how are you feeling fighting away from home? Yo creo que es un reto muy grande venir a pelear fuera de casa, sobre todo tan lejos, pero estoy convencida de que realicé una gran preparación y que me puedo llevar el triunfo. Tengo juventud a mi favor y vengo con toda la actitud de convertirme en campeona del mundo. It's a big challenge to fight outside her country and uh, in, uh, especially this far from uh, her country. However, she's here with the attitude of a winner and she's sure that she's going to get the victory. The words are not here. My name is Vincent Voyo from Go to Radio. Question to Marcado. Last time you fought at home in your hometown, Chihuahua, you fought against Balderas and there was a massive crowd, massive uh, fans for you. You're fighting in Nairobi, uh, away from home. Maybe some few fans for you. How is the feeling? La última vez que peleaste, peleaste en casa, tenías muchos aficionados, pero esta vez estás peleando fuera de casa, con pocos aficionados presentes en la pelea. ¿Cómo te sientes por, por eso? Eh, sí, peleé fuera, no, no en mi estado, fuera de mi estado, pero peleé en México, que viene siendo mi casa, pero estoy contenta, la gente de Nairobi me ha mostrado mm, muchas muestras de afecto, de apoyo, e incluso hay mexicanos aquí en Nairobi y me han mandado por redes sociales su, pues, su apoyo y que van a estar presentes en la pelea entonces, pues como dicen en México, ¿no? buen gallo, cualquier gallinero canta entonces yo vengo a Nairobi a conseguir el título del mundo So the last time she fought, she did not fight in her state, although it was in Mexico. However, fighting outside the country is a big challenge. She's received a lot of support from, from Kenyans here in, here in Kenya, and also a few Mexicans here in Kenya, all over social media. So she's sure that she's going to win the fight with the, that much support that she's been receiving. The, uh, last question, if there is. Uh, you are from Nation now. Um, Azarika, uh, since your last bout, um, uh, you went to Liverpool. Uh, you've been training there for the last six weeks. Uh, which areas do you think you've polished on? Which areas do you think you've uh, refined uh, so that you can defend your title? Uh, same question to Mercado. Um, you, the last time you fought for a title, uh, you thought that you won it, but your opponent was given. What have you improved on? Take on Zarika and um, perhaps take the belt back home. Uh, uh, kutoka kwangu kuenda UK, za kunisaidia sana sababu pia nimeza kushape ni vitu zingine zinyi ambapo Maybe siku anafanya vitu kama hizo. So training UK imekuwa poa na I hope ni already si ati ni kitu ambapo ni kitu ambapo na sema na bahatisha. Ni kitu yenye ambapo na jua vizuri sana niko poa, nime train vizuri na niko nyumbani mashabiki wangu wote wako hapa na mchezo utakuwa mzuri. La pregunta que le hicieron a Sarika es um, durante lo, los últimos seis semanas él ella ha estado entrenando en, um, en Inglaterra. ¿Qué preparación ha estado? ¿Qué preparación especial ha estado haciendo para esta pelea? Y es la misma pregunta que te hacen a ti. ¿Qué preparación que en la última pelea pensaste que ibas a ganar, sin embargo no llegaste a ganar? ¿Qué cosas has, has, has hecho en especial para poder uh, mejorar, mejorarte en esta pelea? Eh, yo hice un cambio de entrenadores, me estuve preparando con Caballeros Team, realizamos un campamento en altura, alrededor de 3.200 a 4.200 metros a nivel, del mar, a nivel del mar, y realicé una gran preparación al lado del ex campeón del mundo, Juan Francisco Luis Estrada, entonces fue un cambio de, de entrenamiento bastante radical, una preparación demasiado dura, y pues me siento en las mejores condiciones para esta pelea. So since the last fight she has changed trainers, so she's currently training, training with a group of new trainers, 
and uh, she's uh, also done a two-month camping where she has been training very hard for this fight. So she believes she's going to take the title because she has also trained alongside um, great uh, champions like... She's also trained alongside uh, Juan Francisco, who is an ex-world uh, ex uh, title holder. So she believes with the training that she's done, she will be able to gain the title to win the fight. So oh, uh, that was the last question we were taking. Is that a very pressing one? Okay, please come forward. So, I think na feel I think I think Jabu nenda kufanya kazi kwa wengi ni lazima na tutumie Jabu kwa wengi Keep on working Keep on working Very well, thank you very much I just